Alright, what's up? Here we go again. Tag number two. This is the spring tag. And number one is, what is your favorite season? I can only have one, huh? Yep. Well, spring is nice, but there's a lot of rain. Summer is nice. I would probably take summer. It's hot, but you can you can work around that. You can get naked and hold yourself down. I'll I, go summer. I'm not even gonna speak to that. What summer or spring? No, you running around naked. <laughs> Spraying yourself with water. <laughs> That's not a pretty picture. <laughs> Going back to the pink a uh, rainbow. Oh. <laughs> Um, my favorite season, without question, is autumn. Uh, I'm not a hot weather person. I'm not a freezing cold weather person, but I do like the cool, the chill, the Christmas in the air, and the uh, fall foliage. Although, I don't like the winds that fall. Uh, number two, your favorite thing about spring. Well, seeing the spring is one of my top choices. Uh... My favorite spring. Temperatures, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the temperatures are really, are nice in spring. Um, I, I'm just not a big fan of spring. I'm just, it means a lot of work, it means a lot of yard cleanup, and starting to mow the lawn, and I'm not crazy about any of those things. Do you have a flower garden? <laughs> no, we got a weed garden. No, we do not have a flower garden. <laughs> We have a couple of random plants that somehow made their way into our ground, but we didn't plant them, so no. I don't know how they got there or even what they are. No, even when we did try it, they don't, nothing survives. We just don't, we don't take care of it. We don't have time to sit there and pluck and weed and, you know, we just mm -hmm. rather sleep, <laughs> watch TV and read books. Ah, oh, I love reading books. So. Number four, do you plant a vegetable garden? Oh, here we go with that one again. We right. used to, we, uh, but I don't like gardening. I don't like being on my knees in the dirt. I don't like getting crap under my fingernails. I don't like worms. And everything we grew got ended up being eaten by the birds and the squirrel, squirrels and whatever else is running around here, raccoons. Yeah. And I did slow that eating part down a little bit, however. Uh, we planted a sacrificial garden out in the woods, well not in the woods, but out back where there was no where there was no fence. So it was easier for them to get to that without a threat than trying to come up closer to the house where the animals, you know, the dogs are and things, and, uh, and try to fight to get through a fence. So that kind of helped because they had a place to go. But however, like she says, you know, they come in. And, then we got to go out and you got weed it. Our weeds were bigger oh, than our plants were. Yeah. All right, our weeds were bigger than our eggplants, you know, um, and then the watering. I had all kinds of different root watering systems, rain water catching, roots feeding. Uh, yeah. And it drives up the water bill yeah. substantially. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, but no, if anything, we're pretty good with tomatoes. And what was the other one we grew quite a bit? Squash, I think you like. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We did pretty good with those, but for the most part, well, no. Also... The things you grow in your garden are the, the least expensive vegetables during the summer. So, to me, I think you end up spending more money between buying the plants and fertilizing and thyme, weeding and watering, than to just buy the native uh, fruits and vegetables in the, at the uh, roadside stands. Yeah. No, it is nice to have it in your backyard, however, you know, and when you have pandemics, you know you've got something out there, but, um, you know, at that point, you know, again, it's a time thing with us, you know, we forget about them out there, you know, they end up, the birds love them. And once it gets over 70 degrees, I don't want to be outside, it's too warm for me. No. Um, number five was a no-brainer for me. It just jumped right out at me. It was, uh, what is your favorite spring smell? Top, top smell for me in spring is lilacs. 
They are awesome. You can have the smallest bush and the minute you walk out the door, you, you can smell the blooms. Uh, mm. I like grass, I would think, because if people start cutting grass, I'm a grass mower. You know, or she smells pretty good this spring. You know, the mating season comes along. <laughs> he goes out in the yard and howls with the coyotes. <laughs> And then the dogs have to howl too because they hear the coyotes and it's quite a symphony. Number six, what do you like least about spring? <laughs> Cutting the lawns. Cutting the lawns. <laughs> Getting ready to cut the, the lawns. The rain, all the mushy ground. Yeah. Um, what are your what's your favorite thing to do in spring? What's with the spring? It's is the spring tag. Oh, okay. <laughs> My favorite thing to do in the spring is basically is basically what I do all the time. Come out here and not do nothing. Uh, now there's I, I like to clean up the yard and things, uh, but it's been tough the last couple of years. The tractor let drop dead on us for a while. That cost forty five hundred dollars for us to fix it, and it's sitting out there broke again. Um, you know, so it's just getting ready is the kind of the pain in the ass. But, my favorite thing but, to do but in my the spring favorite thing would be is nothing. Yeah, no, getting nothing. ready for it, basically. Uh, okay. Eight. Do you still have leaves in your yard from the fall? <laughs> Which year from the fall? Yeah. We right. don't do a lot of raking. Ah. Um, so there's probably leaves in our backyard from the several years <laughs> several years ago. <laughs> Plus, there's a reason I do leave some of the leaves up against the fence because when they're up against the base of the fence, it's a deterrent for the dogs to dig under the fence to get at something. So the answer to your question is yes, we certainly do have leaves in our yard from yeah. the fall. Zuh! <laughs> Plural. Uh, and the only leaves that we, well, she rakes up a lot are the ones over in the corner where they build up because of the wind. And she's afraid that the boys will end up, you know, packing them down and jumping the fence. Because there's a lot of leaves over there. Yeah. You know, everything gets blown over in that one corner. Yeah. But for the most part, no. However, I just spent two days working on a switch to work the leaf blower. So we're going to be out there blowing leaves pretty soon. Oh, um, goody. Number nine. I'm sorry, but this is a big joke for me. Do you do spring cleaning? If so, what does it consist of? First of all, I, hiring a maid. I hate housework. That's number one. And number two, my motto is, dust is the protective covering of fine furniture. Um, yeah. So, I can't say I do a concerted spring cleaning, but I mean, I clean, but it, I don't do, like my mother used to tear the whole house apart, take down all the drapes and all that stuff. I don't do that. that gets done when it needs to get done yeah. and not and besides, on most some of the seasonal time, thing. Yeah. And the most of the time too, you, I mean, you know, the windows are dirty, you clean them, regardless of the spring or summer. You know, I mean, the outside is another story, but you know, most of the time you're cleaning up all year anyway. So, you know, I mean, yeah, you open the windows, you let in the fresh polluted air, you know, and stuff like that. But for the most part, we don't do anything like that. And the last one, number 10, what month or what time during the spring do you put your lawn furniture out? <laughs> um, <laughs> it stopped from, it stopped from what, when, again, like the leaves. We have one, no, we have one piece, well, I shouldn't say that. We have a, two pieces of lawn furniture. Mm. One is just a, a, a really nice long chair that we, that used we used boat. to have on the boat. Yeah. Um, that probably didn't get put away until November, and it's already out now. Yeah, it's been out. Yeah. Um, the other piece is like a little park bench thing we have with a, a hood, a cover on it, so that you can sit under it even when it's raining. Yeah. But And that stays out all year. Yeah, that's never been. Yeah, actually, i got to replace a couple yeah. pieces of wood on it. And, and I'm, I'm replacing the carpet, too, I think. So that's our lawn furniture. Mm. <laughs> and then she got a couple pieces of those uh, concrete benches like you know uh in the yard she got those from work they're like um 
little benches that you would see in a cemetery next to a grave site. So when you're visiting, <laughs> you have a place to sit. I call it my Zen bench because it's zen. where I go and sit down and if I just need a quiet moment because it's way out in the end of the backyard, right in front of where the bamboo grows pretty bushy. Mm. And uh, it just it's just a quiet spot. Yeah. Yeah. So that's about it, huh? And that's it. So Val, or anybody else that was listening, I, I really don't know who I'm going to tag. I'll put it in the description once I decide. I don't like to put anybody on the spot. I don't want to bother them too many times. Uh, but we don't mind doing them. Just that, like I say, it takes us a little longer right now because we've got a lot going on. Oh, he enjoys his dinner. And he just manages. So. Yeah. All right, anyway, guys. We'll catch you later. See ya. Enjoy.